The head of network security at NFL explains how the alliance works with Cisco to defend against cyber attacks. For the 101 million fans who tuned in on Sunday to watch the Law Ramsey out a 2-3-0 victory against the Cincinnati Bengals, the Super Bowl appeared to play out without a hitch. But behind the scenes, hundreds of cybersecurity pros were working to protect against threats targeting the big game before and during the game. The NFL was on high alert for malicious activity ranging from money-making, scams targeting fans at the game to attempts to hack into the stadium's displays. According to NFL Chief Information Security Officer Tom S. Maldonado and several of those threats were actively stopped while the game was underway. He added, We actively blocked several thousand attacks prior to them becoming in any way effective, Maldonado said. Our goal is to block anything that could impact actual business operations on game day, or cause the referee to blow the whistle. Maldonado's team was successful at preventing any cyber attacks from disrupting the Super Bowl. But the stakes of fending off cyber attacks targeting professional sports games have become clear in recent weeks. Just hours before the Super Bowl kicked off, the San Francisco 49ers disclosed that a ransomware attack temporarily took down their corporate ID network. In an interview with Insider, Maldonado broke down the NFL's strategy to secure the Super Bowl against cyber threats. They didn't do it alone. The NFL contracted with Cisco's Talos Threat Intelligence Unit to keep tabs on potential threats and ward them off, and also received support from more than 500 Department of Homeland Security personnel providing physical and cyber security during the game. Cisco and the NFL started erecting cyber defenses months before the game. Maldonado said, taking a thorough inventory of ID assets at Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, California. Those include dozens of lead display boards lining the stadium including a ring shape, infinity board and a separate lead board on the roof as well as networks that handle with I for fans, broadcasters, and the NFL's corporate communications. They also monitored suspicious online activity in the days leading up to the game, including taking down phishing websites with misleading URLs meant to look like official NFL sites to trick employees or fans into handing over personal information. Those scams tend to be profit-motivated, Maldonado said, but can also aim to get employee credentials in order to disrupt a broadcast. Meanwhile, Cisco's threat intelligence team used network monitoring tools to keep track of suspicious activity on the stadium's networks. According to Cisco Talos Vice President Matt Wachinski, those include Cisco's secure firewall to protect the network, as well as its umbrella tool that lets analysts see who is connecting to what in flag, behavior that looks unusual. Cisco also had the Talos incident response team on standby to respond to any surprises that could arise during the game. Even though we're always hoping for the most boring day possible, we bring those folks in so if there is some types of incident we have feet on the street to help triage that and get it taken care of as quickly as possible. Wachinski said, Ultimately, the game played out without any disruptions, meaning Maldonado's team was successful. He said, We did all of that stuff and it was unnoticed by our fans. Maldonado said, Nobody said, Hey, did you see the video board get compromised? Because it didn't happen. And that's what we wanted.